So Insta360 just released their X4, and I've been using their X3 since their 2022 release, but the X4 has boosted so much more in their resolutions and their quality. So on this video, I'm gonna show you some of those new top quality resolution bumps on the X4. So let's get started. Mr. Black. Also, this is probably a good time to mention that Insta360 did send me this camera to share with my viewers. However, they did not pay for this. This is not a paid sponsorship. This is just a video to show you the quality. Basically, you're gonna look for yourselves and see the quality and see if it's the right fit for you. And again, these quality bumps are gonna get crazier and crazier, but I wanted to mention that in single lens mode, which is what you're looking at right now, you can do this single lens mode and you can get 4K 60 frames per second now instead of just 4K 30. So that is a great improvement on just that single lens, better competition with some of the other ones. So right now I could use this side right here and then I can flip the lens and now it's facing the other way. So it's a great way to get different shots, especially if you had it mounted on the handlebars of your bike and you want to be able to switch different views. That's a, a cool feature. And also right now I'm actually using the DJI Wireless Mic 2 system with the X4 using their adapter and a cool little Hawaiian company called X-Mount 360. They make these mounts specifically for the DJI Wireless Microphone system and even some other mics as well. And I'll put links to all of that in the description so you can find it down there nice and easily. Also, if you're new to this channel, don't be a stranger. Click that subscribe button. Now, because both lenses have 4K, it over captures giving that ability to stitch out the selfie stick, but also they're able to stitch out two 4K cameras, making it up to 8K quality with your 360 image, which you'd be able to preview on an 8K TV or 8K monitor or whenever phones have 8K. You can also get 5.7K with HDR. But more importantly, the thing about 8K is that it captures a lot more detail. I still do a lot more work in 4K. So having an 8K 360 image allows me to be able to zoom in a lot more and keep a lot more of that clarity way better than it ever did with the X3 which means you can move this thing around, you can zoom in and enhance when you're editing or capturing your shot later on your phone or the computer app. And a very important step is that you have to export it because if you're just looking at it on the screen, it's gonna look a little bit more compressed because that's what it is. But as soon as you render it out, it looks so much better. And for that, I can notice a huge difference between the X4, the X3, and even the X2. One thing that I love about this camera compared to the X3 I have to mention is that with the X2, they have that tiny screen, but you could use it and move it around like to preview it. And that was like one of my favorite features of that because it was fun to just, like, as you're looking at it, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And they took that away in the X3, but they have it back on the X4. And that was always my favorite feature because it was fun to show other people at the same time, like, hey, check this out. They've also bumped up the bullet time quality to 5.7K at 120 frames per second just looking so much sharper for this fun shot. Another big bump is that you can get up to 11K resolution time lapses, which is amazing. You set this thing down and you can capture really high quality time lapses. And with that 11K, you can capture so much more detail to your shot and you don't lose a lot of quality when you're zooming in. And on that note, they also bumped up time shift to 8K resolution which is insane because you can get some awesome hyperlapses and reframe it afterwards. And perfect for like traveling, if you're just like wandering around the city, you can capture these hyperlapses and just go back into it and you can just reframe it to show what you want. It's pretty impressive. And to achieve this shot right here, it's super simple. All you do is put it in me mode and you just set your selfie stick out and you walk towards it and the camera does the rest. So I love that. The simplicity of it is great. And another cool new feature they've added with me mode is you can actually flip the camera around and face the other way. So if you're like the cameraman and you're following someone else, you can have it set to follow that other way and it looks so good. It's a, it's a cool new feature. Also another single lens feature that is not available on the X3 is free frame video. So you go into free frame video, you get 4K 30 frames per second quality or 2K at 60 frames and you can have that horizon lock on or off, depending on what you wanna do, and that can give you the magic shots of freeform video, and it looks great. You also have a bunch of different lens options like Max, Action Plus, Ultra Plus, and D Warp Plus. All right, so now the bonus feature is they, they've actually added gesture controls. So you can add this on, and you can put your palm up to start and stop the recording, which is also something you wanna avoid if you use your hands a lot 
But the other thing is you can hold up a peace sign and it gives you like a five second timer to take a photo. No matter what mode you're in, it actually will just do that. And that's pretty cool. That's cool. Uh, that's a cool bonus. And by the way, this is not a video comparing the X3, X2 to the X4. If you are looking for a new 360 camera, I would definitely say jump up to the X4. If you have the X2, I would definitely say it's worth the upgrade. The quality alone will blow your mind. I know a lot of people that still shoot with the X2 and they love it, but their footage just does not look as good as this. And uh, anyway, just want to have that little chat right here. All right, well, that's my first impressions on the X4. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have the X3, still a great camera, still a good buy. The X4 is just that much better, and I just think that it has that extra quality that makes it more fun to move around your images later on and be able to manipulate them a little bit more. So I do like that a lot, and also just tons of features. There's so much happening on the X4. So uh, I'm going to end this right here and say uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see another Insta360 video, especially like how to do sky swap, check out this video right here and I'll see you there.